Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Beyond the Cage. I'm your host, Jim Graham, and joining me today on the line, we have a special guest. He will be in the main event of UFC on Fox in New Jersey, Saturday, January 30th. He is Mr. Anthony Rumble Johnson, and Rumble, thanks for coming on the show. What's up, man? How are you? I'm doing good today, and first question I want to ask you is one of your teammates there at the Black Zillions in Rashad Evans he actually fought Ryan Bader for Ryan's last fight. And I was wondering, has he been able to come in uh, to the training camp and help you prepare for Ryan at all? Um, a little. Um, you know, Rashad is in and out of the gym. You know, he has a family. He's always commentating and doing this and doing that. So, you know, but anything that Rashad has is, is told me and, you know, gave me some help with, I definitely uh, absorbed everything that he was, you know, helping me with and uh, it helped me prepare for this fight pretty good. Much like yourself, Ryan Bader also has some very dangerous knockout power. Are you worried about his power at all, Anthony? Um, no, I, I try not to worry about things like that. You know, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. You know, I'm not brutal to fool. I ain't going to just stand and let him hit me in the face and try and knock me out. But, you know, there's always a possibility um, you can get knocked out in any fight. Ryan Bader is also known for his wrestling, former All-American at Arizona State. So, are you worried about the threat of the takedown? Um, no, not at all. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm well trained for this fight, so um, you know, it'll, it, it, we'll see what happens. With your fight being the main event of the evening, of course, it will be five rounds instead of three. And does that change your approach to the fight? It being scheduled for five rounds. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, you know, you got to push a little bit more and pace yourself a little bit more when you have five rounds. But um, you know, nothing, nothing that I'm not used to already. So you know, we'll see how it goes. I'm I'm not used to going five rounds. You know, I've only been three. So we'll see what five rounds do do to me. <laughs> now you have been in the main event before, Anthony. But does being in the main event add any more pressure to? performing out there no not at all no no added pressure want to get your thoughts on some of the other participants at ufc new jersey starting first with the young kid just 19 years old sage northcutt um, what do you think about uh, this kid anthony i think it's, i think it's awesome for him you know um he has a big opportunity right now kid is blowing up pretty fast you know he's got the look he's got the style you know he's a he has a ton of talent you know so i, ho I hope he goes far the co-main event of the evening will be in the heavyweight division as Ben Rothwell takes on Josh Barnett. How do you see that one playing out, Anthony? I don't know, man. Barnett, is, is, uh, he's a vet, even though, you know, Ben is too. You know, I, I, like, um, I like Josh's style. You know what I'm saying? He's very, he's very good at what he does, and so is Ben. But um, we'll see, man. I, this is a fight, you know, it's very hard to pick who's going to win. Um, Ben is, isn't a slouch, and neither is Josh. So, I mean, I don't know who's going to win, but I think the fans are definitely going to get what, what they deserve. Jim Graham talking with Anthony Rumble Johnson. You can follow him on Twitter at Anthony underscore Rumble. And, Anthony, as you prepare for this main event against Ryan Bader, you're most likely to get a title shot if you are victorious. Do you think that is the case? No, I haven't thought about anything except Ryan Bader. Whatever happens after that is what's supposed to happen. You know, everything else is just, you know, it's whatever to me. Sticking with the title picture in your division, the light heavyweight division, it looks as though John Jones will make his return to the UFC against Daniel Cormier in a rematch for the title. And I was wondering, how do you see that rematch playing out? I mean, I honestly think it's going to be the same results as, you know, the first time they fought. Um, John is just incredible. Um, I think uh, I think Daniel Ashley pissed him off more, you know, and John probably pissed his own self off because he did lose his title the way that he did, and now Daniel has it who he can't stand, so that makes him want to get his title back just as much with just that. So uh, I think, you know, John will win, and I think, uh, I think he's going to try and finish Daniel this time. You know, that's just my own opinion. Um, but it'll be a good fight. You just, this is MMA. You just never know what's going to happen. 
Of course, your fight this weekend is in New Jersey, but just the train ride away up north in New York, they are still trying to legalize mixed martial arts. And so far, they're the only state left that has not legalized the sport. And considering how long you have been around in the game, Anthony, does it surprise you at all that New York has not legalized the sport of mixed martial arts? Yeah and no. Um, you know, uh, I think until the the moment we become, we have, you know, what is it? I think they were saying that New York is such a union state, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, things like that, or companies or businesses without a union just, they don't really get too much accomplished here in, in New York. Um, I think once that happens, I think, you know, UFC will be able to go in New York, but, you know, so that's why it doesn't surprise me. But it does surprise me because there's so much money to be made with mixed martial arts in New York. I'm just surprised that New York just hasn't just welcomed, you know, mixed martial arts or the UFC to come to New York and be like, hey, let's do this. Let's make a lot of money and show, show, you know, what the world what we have to offer. So it's it's surprising, but it's not surprising. Want to get your thoughts on this, Anthony? Of course, earlier in the week it was reported that Cain Velasquez was out of his title fight against Fabricio Verdum. Stipe Miocic signed on to fill in, and just a day after that, Fabricio Verdum decided to pull out of the fight. And I was wondering. Do you agree with that decision by Fabricio to pull out of the fight once Stipe was inserted in? Uh, <clears throat> I don't blame him. I would have pulled out too. You know, he, he's the champion. He was preparing for another guy, and uh, the guy got hurt, and you got, what, two weeks, basically two weeks or something like that before, you know, your your title fight, and you, they change it up. I would think and pulled out. You know, so I think he did the right thing. I feel bad for um, how you say his name? Uh, Stipe. Whatever, Stipe. <laughs> so I feel bad for him because it was an opportunity for him, but he'll he'll, he'll still get his chance. So um, you know, it's just it just it wasn't right now, but he'll get his opportunity. I'll get you out of here with this. Do you have any predictions for your fight against Ryan Bader for Saturday? Oh man, I just want to go in there and win and uh, just do the best that I can do. That's all I can say. He is Anthony Rumble Johnson. You can follow him on Twitter at Anthony underscore Rumble. And Rumble, thanks again for coming on the show. I really appreciate it and look forward to your fight on Saturday, January 30th. Thank you, boss. Once again, that was Anthony Rumble Johnson right here on Beyond the Cage.